Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be reacting to episode 98 of Black Clover. Last episode, we started seeing a lot more elves kind of reappearing into the scene. A lot of, you know, just a bunch of people that we were not expecting to kind of see turn into elves. It were uh, Asta, Zora, and Cicely, you know, were at. Real ended up popping up, which is gonna be a big problem because Real by himself, his magic, like I said already, was a problem. The kid's insane. Now he has the power of the elves and the person that's reincarnated as him. Raya said that pretty much that the bodies of those people, that, that's their bodies now. You know, they're like, we're here to take them. You guys can't do anything about it. So if you kill us, I think what they're trying to imply is that they're gonna also kill, you know, the friend, the one who's not there anymore, which is fucking insane, bro. So we're gonna start seeing hands. Medellona said that she let Austin and Zora leave. She's there to pretty much throw fucking hands. And I am so excited to see her fight and go all out because we haven't seen her at her, at her full potential. Raya's like, you know what? Are you here trying to stall us? Medellona's just like, what are you talking about, baby? I'm here to fucking kill you guys. So I'm very excited to see that. So sit back, relax. Let's get started on this reaction video. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now. At some point, Fuego Leon is going to wake up from his sleep and he's going to cause so much chaos for the elves. I'm just calling that right now. And just remember, all of these people don't even know what's going on, so they're just so confused that, that like their, their friends are doing all of this stuff, which is insane. Fuego Leon and Sis Leon. OP captains, that's all I gotta say. This kid is also gonna be a problem in the future when he grows up. <laughs> so he has air magic. So now he's making it weaker. And if we're being honest, at this point, it's really life or death. They're, they either stop them or they're gonna die. Yo, that sucks. He just said, your magic ain't shit right now. Oh, Leo. What is everybody just there just sitting around for you? Go help them, dude. That's what I'm saying. They either have to stop everybody that's going for them or die. And now we see Leo over here having that awesome mentality of not giving up. And this is why I respect the kids so much. This is so motivational, bro. I'm not even lying. And he's just dodging them like nothing. That's what you thought, because then Leo's going to come in. Oh. Damn, bro! And they're already giving up, but I'm telling you right now, Leo's going to come in clutch. And they're senior magic knights, that's insane. That just shows you like the difference in power levels between different levels in the squads. Or could this be the moment that Fuego Leon wakes up? Now that, that would be another plot twist. That air magic is just... It doesn't work well with his fire, or the fire doesn't work well with the air. You know what I mean. Come on, Leo. Come on. Is he gonna start feeling it? Like, feeling key? Is he gonna start doing that? Instead of just... Yes, get more in tune with your senses. Don't just rely on your eyes. Yo, that guy wants all the smoke too. Do you see? He's just running up like nothing. Ooh. Dude, good shit, Leo. Mad respect for the guy. He's literally battling this guy on his own right now. And he's keeping up. Tired, but keeping up. 
Oh, he went for another attack after it and missed. Damn, dude. Who'd that be? Oh, they're all stepping back. Let's go, baby. Come on, dude. I love the fact that they're just all stepping in, even though they're fucking tired right now. Like, they're exhausted. This is what it means to have each other's back. This is this is amazing. Come on, Leo. You can't you can't let them just die in vain. Y'all got pulled through. Come on. Why did I just turn red? <laughs> Whoa, is that a dragon? What the hell is that? A crimson lion or a lion? The crimson lion? What? I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. What the fuck is going on? He's too fatigued. At this point, he's too fatigued. He can't do anything. Fuego Leon, if you don't wake your ass up right now, man. Yeah, I believe he is. He's gonna he is gonna be the next captain at some point. Come on, Leo. Yes! Yes! Yes, dude, come on. You have you have more in you, come on. Oh, he's about to pop off, y'all. He's about to pop off. And Fuego Leon is still knocked out, so I don't think he's gonna wake up. I think this kid's gonna go fucking crazy right now. What the fuck is that? Hold up. What? Is he come? Is he? Was he trapped? And coming back to his senses now? Is this who I think it is, dog? <laughs> You're fucking lying. You're fucking lying. At long last, Fuego Leon is up and running again. Why? The, the, the question I have though is like, why did that flame come from the sky and go down there? The salamander. Maybe his self conscious was like trapped in some type of like energy field. Which it looks like it, it is. It was. After fighting with Vengeance or Leaked, whatever you want to call it, he was probably trapped somewhere. And look, the man doesn't even have his fucking right arm, and he's still out there fighting. This is what it means to be a true captain. Since the fire salamander... Was it killed? I don't remember if it was killed or destroyed. Was it... Reincarnated to go back to Fuego Leon, or was this Fuego Leon's always... Was he... Did he always have this? Now that's fucking epic, dude. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Throw some hands for you, and we've been waiting you we've been waiting for you for such a long time. I called it, y'all. I, I called it that he was gonna come back. This is so insane. And that's what I'm saying. I don't remember if it was destroyed or killed. Okay. And now it was like, it's like going to Fuego Leon now. That's my question. It has inherited the, the salamander. That explains it. He is the chosen one. Oh, <laughs> he said you're fucked, my guy. Alright, Fogelon, you've been asleep for such a long time. And this man's life. And his career. Salamander's breath. And it's exactly how he used, or how well, the girl used it last time. Oh, 
Then he's done. Okay. Did we have a doubt that he was gonna do that? Of course not. How is his the original body gonna hold up though? That's that's my question. Is it gonna die? Or is the person gonna come back to its original senses and body? He's too good, man. You have such a great brother. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, where is she? Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, because it was too much. She didn't want to deal with all that stuff. Yo, my, my hands are sweating, literally. Sweaty, sweaty palms, red palms, whatever you want to say. I am sweating a lot. That's leaked. That robe, I, I, I remember that robe. And that's him right there. But he did, and you trade him. You're a traitor. All this stuff is coming full circle. And it's starting to make a lot of sense. Bitch. Cut his up. And he took the stone. This is not the last time we're gonna see them face each other. Everybody, go save the fucking kingdom. Fuego Leon is gonna take care of the rest. This, this is exactly what I'm looking for. We're just scraping the surface. Like I said, we're gonna be seeing everybody fight each other. Are we gonna have some elves that are gonna rebel against this whole plan? Who would that be? Mm. Mm. Latry. So they're cousins. Okay. Maybe this is why he was always so evil when he wasn't, when Langris wasn't even like himself. You know, I think that would make kind of sense. Has he though? No. He was already being manipulated. Come on, bro. You gotta wake up from that. Perfect timing. <laughs> Let's go, Yami. Yeah, the, the first thing Yami's gonna do is like, yo, take, take my ass to the bathroom real quick. This, I missed him so much. Come on, Fenero. Let's go, Yami. He's ready to fucking throw hands already. He just woke up from a fucking coma. And he's ready to throw hands. This is why I love him. Finally, we have finally seen Fuego Leon wake up from his long lost sleep. The guy was in a coma for, I don't know, I think he was, I think it was months if we're being honest. Like he was gone for months. Now, out of nowhere, he's up and running, ready to throw hands. He stopped Randall like nothing. He also has the power of the salamander with him, which the salamander chose to go with Fuego Leon, and I'm thinking that's the reason why he was even able to wake up in the first place. He's gonna be more OP now, you know, and I am so excited to see him fight. He was already crazy as it is, and this is gonna pretty much... <whistles> they ain't ready for this shit. They ain't ready for this. The elf that is reincarnated into Langris is named Latry, and Latry's related to Patry, who is, you know, shown as uh, Leet, which is uh, my, my reasoning behind why maybe Langris was acting the way that he was back in the tournament and why he maybe he was already being manipulated to that extent at, to some point maybe I think I don't know. Finral also has woken up so we got two goats that have been woken up 
Finral and Fegaleon and now Yami and him are about to go and try and save the kingdom I presume and pretty much see what's going on because everything's just so crazy for them right now Things are gonna be very crazy for Finral to even realize and comprehend what is going on because he's been He's also been asleep for such a long time But he knows that something's up and this guy's already ready to throw hands bro. Very good episode 98 is insane. We're, we're close. To, we're close to the hundreds I heard the hundreds once you get into the hundreds It's gonna be really freaking good and it's very hype. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it here guys thank you guys so much for stopping by i'm gonna leave all my socials down below and i'll see you guys in for the next reaction video